Hi, it's YMNK. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about a project I've been working on for a few months. The MIDI looper slash sequencer made with an Arduino Nano and few electronic components. It's a super creative tool for recording loops of notes on the go, especially for live purpose. So basically what I wanted to do at first was to recreate an Arturia keystep, but without the keyboard, because I don't really like tiny keyboards, and I really like to do things my way. The MIDI looper slash sequencer can record up to four channels of MIDI sequences. There's one button for each channel that you can choose on the go. Let's record some notes. So, there is something important to notice. All the notes you will play will be quantized to the next step. When you play a note with the keyboard, what you hear is not that note, but the note played by the MIDI looper at the next step. The good thing is, you will never be out of sync. But you always have to play a little bit before the step. Here you have a knob for controlling the tempo. Also, there is two knobs for managing the sequence length. The bars knob lets you choose the number of bars and the steps knob lets you choose the number of steps per bar. There is a clear button here to erase or delete the notes while they are playing. And if you press Shift plus Clear, you erase all the notes of the current channel. There's also a MIDI through switch that will let you play on the synths you want without recording the notes. Finally, there is a transpose mode. Just press a note on your keyboard and it will transpose the current channel sequence to this note. There are other features, but if you want to know more about what this little box does, just click on the link in the description of this video. You will find also the Arduino code and the electronic blueprint. This project is at its first iteration, so right now you can only record monophonic patterns and you can't record the note length. But it's enough to have some fun. I will continue to work on this project as I have tons of ideas for the next version. If you have an idea of a feature that might be interesting, please drop me a comment. Thanks for watching.